Hello YouTube. Um, if you didn't know, Tizen version 3 is here and I got mine yesterday. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes to install and I'll show you the size of it in a sec. Um, but actually it's a very good update and I thought I would just share some of the things I'm finding so far. There's one or two things that I think still need improving but generally it's a very good update. Um, so yeah, it's here and there we go. So I'll show you the log uh, in terms of what the changes are. So the change log from yes, from the uh, software as it was launched. And um, I won't take you through everything, but I'll just show you what it looks like so that you have an idea. So uh, if I start, let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. Sorry, shaking here. Uh, so there's the size. You can see it there for yourself. Uh, quite huge. So make sure that you, um, I, I wouldn't use my data. I would probably use Wi-Fi to download that uh, because it's massive. But also uh, make sure that your gear is charged because as I said, it takes a while to actually uh, install this. Some of the changes, as I said, I won't go through everything, but I'll show you the list. Uh, you can read at your own um, leisure. Uh, some of the things include you can now con control Gear VR with your uh, Gear S3. Uh, you can see there that you can share some of your watch faces. Samsung Health has been a, a big refresh um, and some of the widgets as well are quite good. Um, you can now, let's scroll up. You can now, you see number 10, handwriting. I've tried this with English UK and it still doesn't work for me. Uh, so I keep using English US and I'll show you uh, if I get the time uh, while I'm doing this that it doesn't work for everyone. Uh, some of the things there are around some of the stuff that we've always asked for, like the ability to set your music in your gear as your ringtone. And it's now finally uh, arrived. Obviously, the problem has been that some people have been able to do it, but with the use of a third party app. But uh, here you have it straight from Samsung. So that's the list, my friends. Um, go back up. Uh, and here we go. You can pause and look at it properly if you need to. But uh, I thought I'll share with you. So while I'm here, let me just show you as well some of the things I think are, are clear changes that you'll be able to identify with. So if I put this here. And let's get back a bit. So what you've got here, if you look at that orange icon, the orange icon is the contacts uh, icon. And if you compare it, hang on, uh, where are we? Sorry, I'll get there in a minute. So if you compare that orange icon to this orange icon, you can see that one is actually solid white and the other is sort of um, uh, has a border rather than uh, a whole. Um, so here you can see that the icon is is an outline, really. It's like a it's like the border is opposed to having a solid color. Same as the phone icon that you can see in the photo as well. So all the icons look similar to that. If I do this as well, you can see the messaging one just above there. So if I go like this, you can see side by side, the messaging, the messaging up is similar. Yeah, solid as opposed to a border. So they've, they've been refreshed. To me, it looks like a jump. If it, if this was, this was phones um, and Android, I would probably be saying this is from Lollipop to Oreo because of the big jump that they've made in terms of the software. This is something we've been waiting for for a long time now, uh, only to arrive now. Uh, uh, while I'm here, I'll just show you one more example so that you know what I'm talking about. So if you look at this app uh, for altimeter and barometer, you can see that um, there are clear differences in how the widget looks. So on the left, um, it's just uh, the dials and the numbers below, whereas on the right, it's actually the uh, you still got something similar to sort of like a, oh, my team's winning, like a, a dial, but you also got that bluish thing going around the bezel. Uh, 
And if you look closely, you will see those numbers are on the right that say 1050, 850, 650 along the edge of the bezel. You don't have that here on the left. So that's a clear change. I think this looks better, obviously, because it's new software and uh, it looks much cleaner. Uh, so generally, that's the theme that you're going to see with the upgrades, that it's a lot uh, smoother, it's a lot cleaner, um, and it's what you would expect in terms of a big update, really. So I'll, I'll just show you quickly some, some of the uh, widgets that are here. So if I press and hold and take you through, uh, that's new. So now you can have a few apps going around, but if you see that that in the middle, We've always had that, that's the apps. So if I click in that thing in the middle there, you get all your apps. Uh, and you can still scroll through the bezel to go from one screen to the other, or you can just go like this, like that. It still works. Uh, I haven't found any problems yet. And you can still go back with the back button. I'll come back to something around the back button as well. So the other thing I just wanted to show you is the some of the new widgets. Um, as I say, that's new, and I like this a lot. Um, some of the delights are really around. Um, there's one particular one I wanted to share here. So you can see here that you've got a widget for uh, Samsung Health, which has got running, walking, cycling, and hiking. Four activities you can track uh, in one widget, and you can actually see. So I like that a lot. Uh, but there's some, there's some, you will see differences, obviously, when you go in here. Uh, I just don't want to spend too long talking about uh, widgets, but just for you to know that there's new stuff here uh, that you're going to enjoy. So if I go into the uh, menu, uh, so if we go into, let's go into settings. You can clearly see as soon as you go in that there's a clear change. What this would have said in the old watch is just watch faces. But now you can see there's explanations of what each setting means and what's in it. So there's more description, which is uh, eye-catching at first glance, which is quite good. The only problem, obviously, for me, I found that if I go into watch faces, for example, look at this. I will find that there is edit quick settings as a menu. Yeah. Okay. So that's under watch faces. But if I go into device, for example, edit quick settings is there again. So there's some settings that I've seen repeated. I don't know if it's intentional and what the purpose is, but I think Samsung need to go back and um, just look at that. Um, the other thing that is clearly annoying me very much, you can see when I'm going back, I'm pressing the back button. Now, I never used this button before um, before this update. That's because to go back, all of you who know about this uh, watch will know that to go back when you're in here, you pull down to go back. But every time you do that, you get this new uh, revised thing. As you can see, it's got more information. There used to be, I think it was four icons. Now there's eight. And actually, it also nicely says at the bottom they're connected using Bluetooth, which is quite handy. It's quite good. And obviously, you can click into these and go into the respective areas. This is a nice look. And as I said, it's new. But it's annoying because every time I want to go back, I can no longer swipe down to go back, which was a thing that you could do. And that's what I used to do all my, my, my life, basically. I put this on my wrist. And all I do to go back is that, but I can't do it anymore. So you've got to use the button. I don't know if it's uh, intentional again, but it's something that I would want back if I uh, if I scroll down and I touch the middle. So if I if I go and um, say I'm I'm in here, even if I go right below to avoid the top, I still can't get it. And if I go further, this comes down. So, yeah, I would prefer to have it back, to be fair. For me, that's that's one thing I would like. The other thing uh, I'll show you is around the languages. I talked to you earlier on about um, uh, the new update on handwriting that is available and uh, is there for people who need to use it. So uh, I'm in here, and you can see the option is to talk. Uh, the option is to also type... Um, and I don't have the option for um, 
So in here, you would normally have an option to do handwriting. And a lot of that is to do with the input languages. Um, so if I go UK, for example, take this off and go UK um, and go back. Oh, go back. Go back again. So in the UK mode, I can't seem to have a handwriting, as you can see here. All the options don't give me handwriting. But if I go back to US, um, so again, uh, settings, change that to, US, now take UK off. And if I go back, you see, I keep flicking down to go back because that's what I'm used to. Um, well, that's a glitch. It should really show me. Um, okay, let's do it a different way. Sorry, let me hide this and let me do it a different way. Right, reply. Right, I think we are we are there. So write by hand. You see, I can do that here. Hey, there you go. But if I change this to English uh, UK, I won't be able to do this. Let's see if we can do that quickly. You see, it says English US here. Um, if I go back, uh, discard the message. And if I go back again, I want to change the language. So I'll go to settings, um, settings, and I look for input. This is the long way to do it. Input and input. Um, keyboard settings here. And change that back to UK. Take US off. And back again, I'm going to go back to the same message I was uh, composing earlier. So if I go, this was to a specific person. So I've, I'll put that person back and click reply. Reply. Right. So if I click this thing again, I won't have the option. As you can see, I'll go through all of these. I won't have the option to input handwriting. So while they're saying that they've increased the number of languages that can do handwriting, English UK is not one of them. If you want to use handwriting, please go back to US or some other that you know works. Um, that's one thing I wanted to share. Uh, the other, uh, there's some interesting settings in some of these. Maybe if we go through, then I'll find them and share with you. But watch faces, basically, you can see them. And what you never used to be able to do is keep keep watching. You can see there's one at a time. And now there's four on one screen. Um, this is something you never used to do. So there's more, they, they get uh, collated into one screen so you can see them quicker at a glance. And you can click the one you want to use. So this is new as well. And look at this. More on the screen. You never used to be able to do this. So... This is this is quite neat as well. Uh, it gives you quick access to your to your watch faces. Uh, the other thing, let's just go into um, settings again. Um, right, this is new. Uh, you can now set your watch faces by order. Uh, you can do most recent or you can do custom. You can see that that that's new as well. Uh, let's see if there's anything else new here. Um, watch only. So I have been using this for a while and I've been using a power saving mode and all this. I have never seen watch only and I'm thinking this is new, but you can tell me in the comments. So this would disable everything else and just keep your gear S as a watch and you can see how many days that would go. I think this is new, you know, uh, but do let me know in the comments. When I did my reviews last time, I don't remember seeing watch only. So it's one of those things that if you put on, for those that like your battery and you're using this as a watch mainly, like I do most of the time when I'm at work, I use this as a watch, but I still like to see my notifications. 
So watch only is it looks like you can save quite a lot of power. You know, that's nearly two weeks from the looks of things. Um, but obviously, I don't think this is with notifications and other things. I think this is um, your gear will only display the time. All other functions will be turned off. So, you know, it's when you're desperate for power and you want to keep your power. But you know what? I wouldn't uh, use this uh, a lot because I like to see my notifications. So it's just for you to know that if you cry about your battery a lot, but you like to see your watch, there's a new setting for that. Okay, um, let me go back a bit. Uh, was there something else? And we talked about this. You can now use your um, your own songs as ringtones. So I'm not going to go into that, but just, just so you know. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about. This. So, you know, you can actually, you know, it's, to turn your watch on, usually you were able to just turn the bezel and it turns on. With this... Let's see if we can actually demonstrate it. Things don't usually go well if you demonstrate. So I've turned it off and I'm going to see if I can turn the screen off. This should work. I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, the screen is off. If I, oh, maybe it's because I haven't got it on. Hang on one sec. Let's do it properly. Right, let's put this on as if I'm wearing it. Right, okay. So... This is me wearing it, and if we were to turn it off, turn the screen off, and turn the bezel. I don't know what I'm not doing correctly. Let me get up. Uh, okay. Let me see. Make up gesture off. Bezel wake up. It's on. That's why. Okay. Let's let me turn this off. Sorry. My fault. Uh, so it's off now. And let me turn the screen off. And if I rotate this, nothing happens. So this is if your watch keeps getting caught in your clothes and keeps turning on and eats the battery, you can now use this. I don't think this was there before. Uh, Bezel wake up. I think it's new. So again, something new there to use. Um, I just found this by mis uh, accident going through the settings. But I like, uh, oh, that's a draw now. I hope we beat them. Um, I quite like to have this on. Um, so I'm going to leave that on. Um, I think in terms of uh, what I needed to share with you, that's about it. Let me just... Um, see if i can i think that's it really i don't think there's anything more if i find any more from my use i'll do uh, a video on it but as you can see this is clean and it's polished and you get more in terms of looking at your um your your menus the information is much uh, uh more informative you know what the setting is about before you go in it um and as i said new widgets uh and the apps look well developed um there you go uh, i just need to see if uh, i keep using it that um uh, if i find anything else i'll just make a video about it and let you guys know or i'll put it in the comments but yeah let me know how you're finding it uh, as i said got mine yesterday really impressed with it it's like a new watch and that's why i, I likened it to um new software on your phone um really really good really bulky um very good so yeah let me know what you think in the comments thank you very much and have a nice day